Hi darlings, this is Christina and today we have some YSL goodies to talk about. So let's get into it. So I decided to take a chance on this YSL bronzer because as I recently had a tragic event happen with my Hermes Atlas, which was my current favorite bronzer. Look at me. I told you, sometimes I feel like I can't have nice things because I'm super clumsy, like super clumsy. I'm really concerned when I get older, like how I'm going to survive. I trip and fall and things hit me and it, I digress. She had an accident, okay? So I needed a new bronzer. I decided to try this one because YSL's eyeshadows actually surprised me besides the glitter shade. They were very buttery, very creamy, and I really enjoyed the formula. So I thought, let me take a chance on this, you know, because if this doesn't work out, I'm just gonna get a refill of my Atlas and call it a day. But I felt like it was a good investment. So let me tell you about the claims of this YSL bronzer. So it is stated to have 24 hour wear. It is supposed to be skincare infused. This has a 24 hour wear claim. This is supposed to be a skincare infused formula. It has niacinamide, which will help smooth and minimize the pores and texture of skin. Hyaluronic acid for, you know, smoothing. And also it gives a lot of moisture. So they're adding that to it. Lamita from the YSL Orica Garden. So this looks like one of those products, or sorry, one of those little plants that a lot of the luxury houses have. One of those plants that, you know, have these special properties that no one else has. It's only their, their house, their line that houses this amazing, you know, flower or whatever that goes into a many of their products, especially the skincare ones. So that's what the Lamita from YSL is seeming like to me, but it's supposed to be non-drying. This is claiming to be non-comedogenic, and that means it's not gonna clog your pores, cause breakouts. It also is fragrance-free. That is something different from a luxury house line you know they love to pour a little bit of their scents into all of the makeup so that's really cool this is supposed to give you a natural skin kiss glow so let's let's see what this hype is about okay so it comes in this brown casing i do want to let you know this one actually has a 24 month shelf life we got a little time we got two years here and it has five grams of product so I decided based on the models and the different swatches that I wanted to lean a little more neutral and I felt like number two would be more neutral. So this is the number two, Buff Dune. So this looks very neutral-esque. So let me first swatch it. Now I'm gonna tell you the formula is very creamy. If you can see it on my finger, it's, it's very nice. Doesn't look like it has a glow but as you can see, very light. And I did, you know, swatch this quite intensely. Let's do a second swatch, see how buildable this is. Okay, so it builds up okay, very nice. I'm gonna use my Kat Von D blush brush. This is number 20. And guys, I am gonna do a dedicated video to my brushes that I use, that I love. I'm working on that. Thank you all for your well wishes with my surgery. It went well. I actually see the doctor for follow-up tomorrow. I still have stitches. They have to take the stint out tomorrow. So I'm hoping it doesn't reopen and infuriate my mouth again because it's taken some time for me to get off these pain pills. But today I didn't take any. So that's a good sign. You see I have built this up quite a bit. Okay. I don't really often contour, couture, contour, contour. I don't often contour. I don't really know the skill of that. Maybe I will learn it this year. Maybe I'll force myself to understand it a little better. So I usually am a pretty big bronze woman. 
I love bronzer. I think it just gives the skin a nice warmth, some dimension. You know, even if you don't do blush, a little bronzer can make a world of a difference in giving your face some dimension and some interest in your, um, in your features. I just think it balances everything. You have like heavy eyes, lips, and then your cheeks just look flat. I feel like you don't look complete. So I'm looking at everything. So I had planned to do this earlier in the day. It's actually evening time, but there was a series of events that happened that I'm not even gonna go into. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna film this video. So if I look a little tired and look as fresh, that's why it is late in the evening and it's been a long day. But I think overall, I was a little nervous about this color to be really frank once it came in. I thought it would be a little too light just I want to add a little more but I kind of like I kind of like this color I mean I have to wear it during the day to see you know how it wears how it blends I'm sure once my oils set into it this is gonna look really nice very natural I really do like this color if you're someone in my tone like a medium skin tone you probably could go up one shade if you want a very warm look. If you want a very natural kind of look, which was I, which I was going for with this one. So I would say that picture they put up is very built up. So if you're intimidated by those colors, I think you saw how many times it took for this to kind of build on my skin. I think that would be the same with all the colors. So I don't think you have to be as nervous about them. So if you do want to go deeper, just go deeper and you may not have to build as much as I do and you're going to get more warmth to your skin. But overall, I really like this. I'm going to try it tomorrow when I'm out and about during the day, but I think it's really pretty. I want to show you a comparison to my favorite. So I have Atlas. I'll swatch it here. As you can see, it's actually a little lighter. So I'm going to put it another layer over top but atlas is actually a little warmer so in comparison hermes atlas ysl buff dune so if i was looking to probably dupe this maybe number three it's interesting because even though this is warmer this is actually darker that's interesting i think i would like a blending of the two worlds but honestly it, this doesn't look very dark as I'm looking at myself in the mirror and everything. What I am gonna do, while I have you guys here, I'm going to show you the Guerlain Rose Clear. I have been loving these Guerlain blushes. They are so pretty and they actually last really well throughout the day. So Rose Clear, so it's more a cool tone pink, but I am in my cool tone girl moment. I think I am loving it for some reason. So I'm going to use just my Chanel brush. I'm going to just, I just feel a little bit like tired looking. So I just want to put a little blush on. I feel like blush always makes me a little more awake. So especially a nice pinky blush just has very youthful properties you saw that okay darling so tell me what do you guys think do you like this bronzer when i looked a little closer in my mirrors i didn't notice any real texture tell me are you interested in the ysl bronzers have you purchased a ysl bronzer I'm just trying to gauge and see, you know, I wouldn't have probably purchased this, honestly, if my Hermes Atlas didn't break. So yeah, but I will be having a yes, please, or thank you next part of my series of, you know, showing you the new makeup products and things that I'm thinking about purchasing, trying to get a, trying to gauge what you guys are interested in. So I'm going to be doing that really soon. I have a, a lot of content that I'm planning to start tapping into i did take a break i took a break from my actual job and i took a break from my filming so i'm just kind of getting into the groove of everything but i promise i have lots of things coming through and i'm so excited to share okay darlings i hope you have a great day a wonderful week and i'll catch you in the next one